This is the first of two screencasts to accompany a couple of different lectures. The first lecture that I'm going to address has to deal with mirrors, specifically the concave and convex mirrors. Later on, I'll use this simulation that I'm about to show you here to also take a look at lenses. Okay, I've posted this link for us in today's folder, but let's go ahead and access the particular simulation by clicking here on launch, like so. Okay, now up here at this button, I'm gonna go ahead and change it from lenses to mirrors, like so. And now I'm gonna remove some of the features that are here initially. Let me get rid of the various light rays. And then also, just to make this a little bit larger, let me go ahead and increase the height here of the object. The object is right over here. I'm gonna move it a little bit further away from the mirror in order for us to be able to easily see the simulation. Okay, right here is the mirror. The mirrored surface is on the left-hand side, thereby making this a concave mirror. And now I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, introduce the first light ray coming off the tip of the object like so. That's parallel to the axis and it then reflects through the focus like this. Let's go ahead and access the second light ray. That then is backwards of the first. That is, it goes here from the tip of the object through the focus, it then reflects parallel to the axis. And then right here, of course, is the real inverted image that forms in front of the mirror. Okay, then let me go ahead and draw in a third light ray, like so. That goes from the tip of the object here down to the center of the mirror, and it then reflects at the same angle from the law of reflection. The reflected light ray, of course, passes through the image. And then I could adjust, for example, the image and object distances by manipulating this particular simulation like this. So notice that, for example, the size of the image then changes depending upon how far away the object is from the mirror. The magnification is ultimately described in terms of the image distance and the image height, the object distance and the object height here without showing all the math. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and move the object here to the focus like so. And then notice that the reflected light rays here and here are parallel to each other. So then therefore the image forms at infinity. And then let's go ahead and take the object and move it closer to the mirror than the focus. That is like so. And then you end up with the upright virtual image that is magnified here on the other side of the mirror. Okay, let's make the diagram here a little bit less crowded. I'm gonna remove the third light ray. Let's, let's actually go ahead and keep the first and the third, there it is, like so. These are typically the light rays that I always draw in lectures, so let's keep them here. And then we've got the reflected rays here and here diverging from each other, so they appear to be coming from behind the mirror. Okay, now let's go ahead and get rid of all the light rays, and then let's make this into a convex mirror. In order to make this, to a convex, make this into a convex mirror, I take the object here and I move it to the other side of the diagram. So now this here on the right-hand side is the mirrored surface of the mirror, thereby making it a convex mirror. This is just the simulation that is, is just being drawn here backwards as opposed to what I draw in lecture. Okay, let's go ahead and form the image, which is right over here, by the way, by using the light rays. Let's go ahead and turn on the first light ray. That's parallel of the axis, it then reflects as if it comes from the focus here behind the mirror. Let me go ahead and draw in the third light ray. This is the one that I draw in lecture, like so. That goes from the object here down to the center of the mirror and then reflects at the same angle, thereby then forming the image which is upright and virtual and small, that is behind the mirror. And then I can adjust, for example, the image size and the image distance by manipulating the object distance, like so, that is from the mirror. There is a third light ray that is sometimes drawn in these situations that I typically don't draw in lecture. That's right here, ray number two. Ray number two is drawn from the tip of the object here and then down towards the focus on the other side of the mirror, it then reflects parallel to the axis like this. And if you then take this reflected light ray and you extend it back behind the mirror like so, it then passes through the tip of the image right here. Typically, however, I don't like to draw that light ray, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. And we just go back to the two light rays that you see in lecture. So I invite you to manipulate around this simulation as you study today's lectures and you also study the ray diagram.